our people have been abandoned. Because America is a one-size-fits-none system. My dream is that whites are able to have our own nation state here in the former United States where we are free and sovereign to govern our own affairs. Hate groups today, when they're targeting the black community or the Jewish community, they are using stereotypes, prejudices that are deeply rooted in the past. Nationalists, the white nationalists, are taking an advantage of a cultural and political flaw in the American system. We are not preparing young black people and young Appalachian people and young Spanish people in this town to be functional. When graduating college, I realized that the Republican Party is never going to actually represent us, that they're in the pockets of bankers, corporate interests, and the Democrats are very much the same way and even more directly hostile to us. So it was important for white folks to actually have a political party just for us. We are in some sense witnessing that in this Black Lives Matter uh, movement that this is a place that civil rights skipped and we're only now beginning to see that. We can't deal with it today or tomorrow if we don't know about yesterday. I feel that Cincinnati, because it's a border city, that we've really never reconciled the Civil War here. Uh, Reconstruction didn't occur here, and so no one was forced to change their behaviors, whether it be in Kentucky or in Ohio, with regard to race. Well, Cincinnati has a, a German-inspired tradition of social politeness. That whole style of behavior has disguised its blatant racism. We are very much um, anti-Semitic. We are anti-Israel, we are anti-Zionism, we are anti-cultural Marxism, feminism, and every other modern Jewish construct. Anti-Semitism didn't begin with the Holocaust, it didn't begin with Nazism, it's been around for hundreds of years. What we're seeing in these movements is a lot of the language is actually just picking up and being repackaged and it comes from that historical anti-Semitism. Confederate identity and Confederate memory is entwined and it's their heritage. That their understanding of white supremacy is being jeopardized and threatened and that those monuments are symbols of that. They made a very shrewd, I think, choice not to base themselves in the South, but rather to base themselves in the reddest part of America, and that's the middle, of which the Midwest is part. I'm concerned that in our region, we have human resources being lost and wasted. We don't need opportunists to prey on a natural need. We're not trying to kick everybody out of America or something, and that's what a lot of people believe. We just want to be able to spread a message of helping white people, essentially. 